big breaking news here in the Cardano ecosystem. The network using Hydra, a state channel scaling solution, has now officially processed over 1 million transactions per second. Yes, you heard me correctly. Cardano can scale, Cardano has scaled, and Cardano will continue to scale. What's up, Ida Nation? A welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. As I've just laid the foundation there, Cardano making headways here when it comes to scalability with the introduction of Hydra and a lot of additional layer two scaling solutions, which I'll be breaking down as a part of today's video. So if it's your first time stopping by, my name's Fareed. I hope to help you find your way around the Cardano and Bitcoin ecosystems. If you enjoy content like this, please make sure to smash that thumbs up on the way in. If you want more, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about anything that I'm discussing today, leave a comment down below. Now we're going to jump right on in here. There's a lot of really good information that we have to break down. But before we do, we have to break down the blockchain trilemma and exactly why it's so important here. So if you're not aware, there's basically the notion that within any and every single blockchain, you can never really achieve all three pieces of the trilemma. However, I think after today, we've seen that Cardano can and will defeat the trilemma. So what we have here at the very top is decentralization, which if you aren't aware, Cardano does extremely well. We've got over 3000 stake pools operating, basically keeping the lights on when it comes to the network, allowing for the processing of transactions to take place, whether that's in you know Europe, Asia, Africa. Again, we have nodes all around the globe. So when it comes to decentralization, Cardano has no issues about that particular piece of the trilemma puzzle. Right below that, we have scalability. Now, I'm going to come to that there in just a moment, but to the right of that, we have security. So when we take a look at security, Cardano has never been down. It's never been hacked. There haven't been any exploits specific to the chain. Now, granted, there are um, user engineered issues or um, phishing type of attacks that take place. That's within any ecosystem. But when you're looking at the core protocol itself, Cardano has not had any sort of security flaws since its inception. Now, looking at the bottom left-hand corner there, we have scalability, which has now been achieved with the launch of Hydra. Now, if you're not familiar with Hydra, it's a scaling solution being built here on Cardano. And it's very similar to what Bitcoin has in the Lightning Network. Again, this is a state channel, meaning that you're basically able to open up a Hydra head and then within that Hydra head, you can have X number of participants, which can set up rules that apply to themselves within that head. They can then interact with one another. And when they're done, they can settle everything. And then that one settlement is actually captured and recorded on the core Cardano layer one. So again, I've broken this down in other videos. I've had Trim Brousset from the Hydra team on the channel to break this down. So I won't spend too much time here, but I wanted to at least lay down the foundation, breaking down the trilemma and exactly what payment channels are or what Hydra is. Um, with respect to Cardano. Now, here we have the big news. This is coming in here from Josh Marchand. Um, congrats to him. Congrats to Trim, as well as Pi from Sunday Swap, and then Adam Dean for making all of this happen. So we have the official number being met, over 1 million transactions being processed by everybody playing Doom on Hydra. Now, if you've missed this, I have posted content about this before, but essentially within the actual game of Doom, each particular frame within the game as you're actually playing it represents a transaction taking place in a Hydra head. Now, there were over 12,000 servers, again, launched globally, which are able to process all of these transactions all simultaneously, showing the fact that Cardano can and will continue to scale. So as we jump over here, I want to show you guys a really, really interesting graphic here where we have the team who basically put this together, watching the transactions per second live. And as you'll see here, they're just about to actually see the fact that it's going to break over 1 million transactions per second. So I do apologize for the shakiness there. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement going on. But right around here, we should actually see that number update to 1 million. And there you go, right? So it was very, very brief, but the team officially confirming themselves that Cardano can process over a million transactions per second. We've got an additional visualization here. Again, shout out to Trim and the Hydra team for building this out. But as you guys can see here, at this particular time, this was processing over 700,000 transactions per second, where each little dot here would have represented a transaction. So as you guys can see, I mean, a lot, a lot going on there. This introduces high-frequency trading, the opportunity to leverage bots and 
so much more within the Cardano ecosystem here as we know it. Moving right on over, we have the team from TX Pipe also posting the fact that they were able to host over 12,000 Hydra heads in six different regions around the world. As you guys can see on the left-hand side, nearly or roughly 2,000 Hydra heads in every single region that they were spun up. Moving right on over here, I did also just quickly grab a screenshot as of this morning. So this is December 4th of 2024, where we have over 14 billion transactions being processed. We have over 22,000 games of Doom being played. And we had at one point, let's see here, over 900,000 kills taking place as a part of the actual tournament. So again, really big news here within the ecosystem. I have to take the time to give shout out and credit where it is due. So Trim, from me to you, congratulations, man. You deserve this. This is exactly what Cardano has needed to show that it is capable and able to scale for the global masses. An additional shout out to Adam Dean here, who's also worked tirelessly in order to make this happen, a stake pool operator and contributor here to the Drip Drops community. And again, thank you to Adam there as well. Of course, can't forget um, Josh, as well as Pi from the Sunday Swap team. And then of course, the guys from TX Pipe. Now, if you aren't aware, the current um, state of Cardano right now is basically all eyes on the Cardano Constitutional Convention taking place in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And uh, as we get ready to close out, I'll just quickly highlight how you guys can get access to that if you're interested in watching and keeping up with that. Now, if you just wanna quickly check out or just play Doom on Hydra, you can head over to doom.hydra.family. Again, if you've missed it, there's over $100,000 in prize pools currently available for anybody who's going to be participating, making it to, I believe, the um, final stages where there's going to be a full sort of tournament style um, esports competition taking place in Vegas, where people from the community will be able to play for that $100,000 prize pool. So make sure to check this out. You can just go ahead and quickly log in, verify uh, via a, a wallet or an email address. And then again, this is all completely free to play, of course, as long as you're over the age of 18. Now, as we get ready to close out here, this is just a recap of that initial announcement. But as I promised earlier, we have the Cardano Constitutional Convention taking place. As we can see here, Charles Hoskinson, the man himself, offering or opening up there with the keynote speech, talking about the importance of governance within the Cardano ecosystem. I mean, everything is literally falling in place for Cardano as we know it. Again, decentralization, check. Security, check. Scalability, check. And now governance there as well. What a time to be alive. What a time to be an ADA holder, especially after this big and brutal bear market. So if you've made it this far, congrats to you, kudos to you. And if you're a watcher, a, a delegator, or just a contributor to the channel, if you share this content out, I cannot thank you enough. It definitely does mean a lot. So as we get ready to close out here, if you do want to go ahead and catch this live, you can head over to X, jump over on the official input output um, Twitter. And from there, you can actually see that they are currently live streaming the Constitutional Convention. Now, just some closing thoughts here as we get ready to wrap up. I wanna talk about scaling in a much more general sense. If you aren't aware, we are also expecting um, zero knowledge based layer two scaling solutions to come into the ecosystem. So I'll be aiming to reach out to Phil DeSaro from the Anastasia Labs team. They're building what's called Midgard, again, a ZK proof um, layer two scaling solution. So it's a little bit different than what we have with Hydra. However, it does the same exact thing allows for transactions to be processed more efficiently and then recorded on the main Cardano L1. In addition, I just sat down with Sheldon Hunt, who's bringing in Sundial, which is basically a layer two scaling solution, more or less focused on institutional adoption and the using or the usage of Bitcoin liquidity as we're expecting for Bitcoin OS and just a bigger focus to now be coming into um, or going out to the Bitcoin community from within Cardano. In addition, I believe we have what's called the Sky Protocol, a data availability layer, which should also be launching here within the ecosystem and a few other layer two scaling solutions, which again, really, really, I think will start to show off the power that Cardano has. So that'll do it here for today's video. Breaking news again, we have 1 million transactions per second being processed here on Cardano through Hydra, which if you aren't aware, is, is officially live now on the main net. That'll do it here for today's video. As always, if you found it to be helpful or insightful, or if you just learned anything along the way, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, highlighting everything going on with Cardano, please consider subscribing to the channel. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.